Hi everyone, today we're back as a homeowner. I have big news guys, last week I put the house for a sale and it is officially sold. We have 24 hours to get everything moved out, that's furniture, that's toys, that's everything in between. And we definitely have our work cut out here for us. Now really quickly guys, stay tuned for next week to see what we're going to be doing with this series, but let's get to work. The realtor will be coming by later on today to put a sold sign over the for sale since uh, we just sold it this morning there which is super exciting. This was one of my favorite properties. We built the house, we built uh, the garage in an old classic, a barn out back there which is so so cool. But I actually hired a moving company for all the furniture. There's just too many couches, too many beds, uh, lamps and everything like that. So we are mainly going to be focusing here on getting everything moved out in the garage. Now I did already begin a little bit here in the main garage here. I have to take down all my posters uh, and I, I want to make sure uh, they don't get damaged because I really want to put those up at the main garage. But with moving guys I thought hey why don't I take the opportunity to maybe sell some of the toys I don't end up using too much. Some of the vehicles uh, because I just have so many things. And one of those vehicles, guys, is going to be the Ford Bronco here. I listed it for sale, and we've someone to, uh, coming by later on today to take a look at it here with a Hummer EV. Uh, this is actually being uh, taken back by GM since they lent it to us for a few weeks. So they're coming to pick that up, which is good. That makes it a little bit easier here. But why don't we get going on cleaning out the detached garage? Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. I'm going to be posting several things on Marketplace here, just having a yard sale for all the miscellaneous things. And uh, uh, we'll go through everything as well here. But one thing guys, I have so many classic trucks. I have three. I have F100, I have this uh, 1986, and I also do have a uh, first gen Cummins here. So what I'm actually going to be doing guys, I'm going to be selling these as a bundle. I'm going to list them for sale, and I want to see if a collector wants to buy all three farm trucks. If not, I want to keep them I don't want to sell one I want to sell all three as a package otherwise like I mentioned we'll just keep them around here but inside here we're actually gonna be selling the zero turn here so this bagger has to go with that you don't realize how much stuff you own until it's time to move and that is what is happening here and that's why I'm thinking like I mentioned it's probably best for us to sell some things here I'm gonna be selling the Gator this three-wheeler I actually have someone coming later today to look at and both the dirt bikes we're gonna be keeping here but guys we actually need to get some trailers ready to go that way we could get things loaded on up here let's head into town and see if we could rent a trailer like I mentioned guys, stay tuned for next week. I can't wait for next Friday revealing the next house for this series and the new town we're going to be moving to. It's a lot of work uh, to move here, but it is always a lot of fun and to get a nice fresh start here is going to be awesome. I know that the local tractor supply does have a few trailers for rent here, so let's see if they have anything. And we could drop the trailers off at any location, which is awesome. I know that the only thing they have for rent is actually around back here. Looks like, let's take a look. They got a small utility trailer for rent. We have one of these. Well, that is too small. They got a log splitter. Wow, that is nice here. But oh, look at this. Yeah, this is perfect. Let's see here. It's a 35 foot. Uh, Tana Maxwell. Yeah, I'm gonna go see if I could rent this here and let's uh, take it on back and get it filled up with our things. Alright guys, I got the trailer here. It was $50 a day. I got it for eight days and I think that's all we need it for here. So I want to put the snowmobiles, the dirt bikes inside here. We do have an enclosed trailer, but uh, that is not going to fit everything I want to be taking with us here. I want to keep some of the toys that are my favorites and we'll be using one of the trailers as well to move uh, the 4 GT and then the GT3 since it is winter time. All right, let's get to loading a few things up here. So like I mentioned, I want to keep the off-road dirt buggy. This thing is so cool here. This is actually quite affordable as well. So I really don't want to sell this. And since it only costs around four to 5,000 for this thing here, let's see, I think we'll probably just back it in. That way, if we need to, it will be a little bit easier to get out. Actually, yeah, the access doors on that side there. Then I want to put the dirt bikes in here as well. See if we can fit as much as we can.
All right, we should be good with the dirt bikes here. Now, let's see if we can put the snowmobile inside. Then, actually, guys, I came up with a pretty good idea. I want to put everything I'm going to be selling all in one area here. So, I think I will put that off to the side in the front here on the grass. That way, I could get pictures of it. Maybe have one of the kiddos uh, take pictures of it here. That way, we could keep everything rolling because there's just so many things we have to get done here. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a tight fit, but that fits in no problem. I just got the small utility trailer ready to go here since I st want to now get started out cleaning out the barn back there. But you guys can see this is everything we're going to be selling so far here. The Gator, uh, one of my buddies that I actually went camping with is going to be picking up the old snowmobile. I got it up and running. He said he'll buy it off me here. And like I mentioned, someone's going to take a look at that. But there is just so many things. It looks like every time I feel like I get something cleaned out, there's something else that has to be. But uh, going right off the... Uh, bat right here this uh, backhoe the next door neighbor is actually gonna be buying it for a thousand dollars I thought that was a fair price I use it for what I needed to project wise now it's time to move on to the next owner here we're gonna be taking the John Deere tractor but I'm gonna be selling both the electric uh, ATV and also the John Deere zero turn sense I don't think we need that big of a mower Having the tractor set up for snow plowing might make it a little bit trickier here for us, but it's also less attachments we have to get moved. We actually have to come on back here for a few things here. We'll put a few tie down straps here on him, but why don't we go drop off the backhoe now to the next door neighbor. He's going to be super excited here. He recently bought a dozer, did some work, and he did tell me a, a few months ago that if I did want to uh, sell it, that he would buy it off me because he, he just really likes it here. I mean, this thing, guys, is like 30, 35 years old and it just keeps on running this old international backhoe I really enjoyed living at this current property here we have a very nice big farmhouse which is pretty awesome on about five to six acres of land here it's been pretty enjoyable but as you guys have seen before I, I always like to change it up just a little bit here it's time for us to move on to a new house get some new projects and things like that here but say goodbye to the old international maybe one day we could buy an old machine like that that was a lot of fun wrenching on it and things like that but guys i just got a text it looks like the movers are going to be on their way here so let's see let's see i think they should probably uh, back up to the garages. That way we don't walk on the grass. And uh, the grass looks really good. And the new owners definitely don't want the turf uh, uh, to get replaced there. But uh, they're also going to be picking up the Hummer. So I'll catch you guys back here once we make some more progress. The moving truck has arrived and there is about a dozen movers inside packing things on up. There's boxes all over the house including the upstairs. So I should probably get back outside to get uh, to packing up some more toys here. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This was a lot of work here. But like I mentioned, stay tuned for next week where we're going to be uh, uh, showing the next step in this series. But until next time guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.